Hey there, Marina Orms here of Astrology Heals. And I am talking to you today about the tomorrow's Gemini new moon. So I started recording these videos uh, about a month ago with the Taurus new moon, the exciting Taurus new moon in which Uranus went into Taurus for the first time in seven years. And this uh, new moon in Gemini uh, marks the completion of that particular moon cycle. A moon cycle goes from new moon to new moon. And that uh, uh, each new moon then brings a completion of the previous cycle and the beginning of the next one. So with the new moon, it's an important time to set your intentions and plant seeds for what you want for the coming cycle. Of course, we're also recognizing that there's some completion and closure to the previous moon cycle. And so since we're just ending right now and tomorrow um, midday Pacific time is the, um, is the Gemini new moon. So we're kind of in that, entering that mystery space. And the new moon is a dark moon. And of course that is because the moon is passing between the sun and the earth. So we, it's not that the moon disappears, but we are actually seeing the dark side of the moon um, because the bright side of course is facing the sun and we're on the other side of that during a new moon. So, um, so it's a time of mystery. It's a time of wonder and opening and uh, opening to the magic of what is coming, but also claiming your intentions within that magic and saying, stating whether out loud or to yourself or taking a nice, quiet, focused breath where you are affirming uh, and choosing what it is you want, what you want to experience how you want it to feel, um, and choosing to energetically align with that outcome. So this is the other part of uh, making something happen. Uh, when we do it logically, we take the steps, the action steps, and, and the practical things that we need to do to make something happen. There, is, there are um, uh, four elements in astrology, and so uh, action is fire. Um, tangible practical steps are earth and those are the two that we usually think of when we think of making something happen uh, we've also got um, water and uh what's the other one <laughs> air <laughs> so um uh, so with air, we need to imagine we need to think about it we need to talk about it we need to have the idea and, uh, and then, of course, there is water, and water is the surrender piece, it's the energetic piece, it's the intention and emotion and the place where we just connect with the vibration of what it is we want. So that sounds esoteric, but it really works, and it really is a part of the whole thing um, in terms of how we as human beings create the results we want. So don't forget to set your intentions during the moon new moon uh, it's really important and powerful even if you just do it once while you take a nice deep breath focusing and thinking about what it is you want and how you want it to feel all right and then gemini of course is an air sign it is about communication and thoughts so connect with the words write down what you want take time to journal or brainstorm or just um, connect with your own ideas. All right. Thanks so much for listening. And you can grab a free moon planning calendar if you sign up for my free member level at manifestingwithmooncycles.com. And if you go there, um, you have to scroll down on the page to find the button to sign up for that free member level. But uh, that will get you a moon planning calendar where you can see what the moon is in on any given day. All right, enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.